Now, the first thing I like to do is to send a message right back to the user. Since the bot can take a few seconds to respond, I like to just send a message back. We'll send a text message and you want to pick the same credentials as you were using in the trigger. And then for the chat ID, you're going to want to use the data from the initial start message. We can grab this here, drag that into our Telegram message. This is so that we can respond back to that same ID. And then for the text, I'm just going to go ahead and put one second, please dot, 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 come back to Telegram. We can see one second, please. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and I'm just going to move this over just a bit. We can add a switch so that we can have one path for when it is a text message like this and another when it's a file. So then what we need to do is we need to move this back to the original incoming message. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this text here. We're going to drag it. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to say is string exists. If this text message exists, then we're going to go down this main path here and we can connect it directly into the agent. And now this agent should use the message coming in from the trigger. So we'll jump into the agent. And now instead of saying source for prompt, we're going to change this to define below. And then we're going to pass in the text from the first trigger. We're going to come up here, go to the trigger and we'll pass in the text. That's going to automatically turn this into an expression so that it can pull in the value in the text. Let's go ahead and test the workflow. Can you please give me all my contacts? Now it looks like we have an error. Let's take a look at that. And so what's happening here is that the message is actually for our memory here. It's basically saying, hey, we have no session ID. So originally when you set up the window buffer memory, it has a default to look at the previous node for determining what that session ID is. And what this segment does is that it allows us to have separate conversations with different people and have a different memory for each person. So in this case here, we're gonna change this to define below. And for the key, we're going to use the chat ID. And so what that tells the memory to do is, hey, use the chat ID for this memory so that the memory that we store for this conversation is tied to this chat ID. So if other members or other people are chatting with this bot, they will have a different chat ID and then therefore the memory that is associated with that chat will not be the same if the chat ID is different. So if I'm talking to the assistant, it's going to create one memory and one chat for me. And then if somebody else is chatting with the assistant, they will have their own chat and their own memory associated with the conversation. So let's come back here. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's test the workflow. Come back to our bot. Can you please give me all my contacts? Contacts. Come back to N8N, it's getting the contacts and it's done.